another 10 years left in me. You know, they can, they can, you know, delay it. They can't prevent it, you know, so, you know, do what you gotta do. You know, I've got time on my side, so, you know, um, as I said, they can delay it, but they can't prevent, prevent what's mine. Yes, Rahal, what's happening, bro? Yeah, listen, it is what it is, you know. I mean, it's clear to see there's a vendetta. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, you know, but I'll continue to fight my innocence. I always will. You know, I'll never, I'm never, you know, bad down to, to whatever it is, you know. Um, you know, and I never will. It's just not who I am. You know, I'm a fighter. I ain't gonna, you know, take a backward step. You know, my name means more to me than anything. I'm willing to spend every last penny I have on this. So, you know, let's go. No, it looks like I'll be heading over stateside. You know, at the end of the day, that's where the world titles are at. You know, domestically, there's nothing here for me. So, you know, I'll head over stateside, win the world titles and bring them back. You know, it's the plan. You know, you got Haney, you got Garcia, you got Javumpa Lumpa, you got all of them calling my name. So, you know, I'll go stateside. That's no problem for me. You know, I'll fight any man anyway. So, you know, I've got, got to call with the team today and, you know, if stateside's the next move, then, you know, that's no problem. They welcome me over there. Um, you know, and hopefully it's only temporary. Shout out to West Ham ABC. Yeah, no, no interest in that fight, to be honest, but I actually want to fight. Yeah, listen, Pacquiao, all of them names, you know, so... For me, it's like I've been quite inactive for the past two years. Um, but over the past two years, you know, I've had the, you know, pound for pound greats, um, you know, pay-per-view stars all calling my name. So, you know, any of them can get it, to be honest. Um, you know, it's actually, just a, yeah, just a waiting game at the minute. Um, you know, as I said, they can delay it, but they can't prevent it. You know, they can long it out as much as they want and... You know, try and make this as horrible for me and, you know, as painful for me as they possibly can. But at the end of the day, you can't take away from me who I am. You can never take that away from me. Strip me of whatever you want. You can't ever take this away from me. You know, so so that's it at the end of the day. At the end of the day, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Me and my family are blessed. You know, it's safe to say that my dad's left me with some curses and some blessings. Um, you know... Wish he never tore up his license on TV, but you know, it is what it is, and I've done exactly the same thing, so yeah. I'm paying for it, I'm paying the price for his um his uh his decisions back then. Shout out to Elijah. Um Yeah, listen, in life things happen, don't it? In life things get you down, but you just gotta keep fighting. You know, boxing just translates over, you know. They can they can knock me down. Politics can, you know, try and ruin my career. It's happened to all the greats in, in boxing and you know, all I got all I can control is what I can control. Do you know what I mean? And that's me. Control me, control, you know, what I can and that's me training, grafting every day. You think sometimes I feel like training with everything that's going on? No, not at all. You think sometimes, you know, I just think, I don't know if I got it, you know, but you keep fighting, man been through the worst of it so for me now it's just a matter of you know talking to my team you know getting these world titles um and there is one person i still want to smash up you know dearly and smash up well and that is eubanks um you know when when all is said and done eubanks is probably you know top five of people i want to fight um you know i'm either going up to 160 to fight him or i'm standing at 147 i ain't doing no 154 or, or you know doing any of them weights rather stay at 147 but I reckon I'll give him a good hiding at his own weight yeah it has made who I am today you know and um, it made me realise how blessed I'm going through what I've been going through you know it's been up and down throughout this case I mean you guys don't know the half of it all you know is the the constant leaks that seem to be happening you know when you look at other cases not a word no one hears nothing you know so you've got to question the, the motive and the, the agendas and what's going on you know, but you can't um, you can't keep a good man down, period. Especially someone who whose work ethic and discipline is unmatched. You can't beat my work ethic. I've shown more discipline, determination, and grit these past two years than I have done my whole career. 
and, and that's it at the end of the day. But yeah, obviously I know I know people are going through hard times out there as well. Um, you know, real life hard times. So for me, I sit there and I go, this is my career, but really I'm blessed. I've got a beautiful daughter, beautiful son, beautiful family, you know, not doing too bad. You know, so I sit there and I go, what if my what if my kids were ill? What if I was ill? You know, I'm, we're all healthy. So and I sit and I go, actually, I'm so blessed. You know, got a beautiful home for my family, beautiful holiday home. So for me, it's, um, yeah, it's all a blessing, man. But yeah, no, I mean, listen, everything's just mad at the moment. Everything's mad. I think determination, work ethic and grit you can't, you can't, um, you can't, that, you can get so far in life without on its own lesson, and that's not even mentioning the talent, you know, if you've got hard work, and you've got dedication, you've got some sort of work ethic, you can achieve more than you, than you'd ever imagined. Yeah, do you know what, I think sometimes, you know, I don't think, um, <laughs> Jabumpa Lumpa, yeah, I don't. I think sometimes people think I'm invincible, or you know, I, um, you know, I'm the, I'm the destroyer. But you know, I'm also also a human. So, um, yeah, it does get tough. But you know, tough times don't last, and tough people do. And that's the reality of it. But I'm willing to fight this to the core. I'm willing to, you know, fight this tooth for now, all the way, all the way. Let's run it. <laughs> Guten Morgen. Yes, sir. Who's next? We've got a phone call with the team later on today. Um, and we'll have something, we'll have a rough idea of what's going on. I'm grand the braids back. Uh, what time did I start training? Um, I started training an hour ago. Magnolia, what's happening, bro? Uh, my, my son is waiting for me to bring him in this pool. I'm just waiting for it to heat up. Yeah, you can fit me some aircon, mate, in uh, my home gym. The home gym is going to be ready in about, or in my house even, because uh, my house does get absolutely roasted. <laughs> Parkstone was happening, bro. Listen, I smash all these guys up. See all these yanks calling my name. Well, let's let's get it on then. You know, all of you seem so keen to pipe up while my hands have been tied behind my back. Well, let's go then, you know, Javumpa Lumpa, he's, he's probably the worst of it, runs his mouth and then bowls it, shits himself. <sighs> like, you got to remember, these guys aren't even on my radar, Haney, um, Garcia, J Javumpa Lumpa, none of them were even on my radar, you know, until they started piping up. Sam Jones, I'd calm down if I was you. I jump on a flight to flipping Derby or wherever it is and come in and give you a good hiding. Um, I reckon I KO Garcia in about four rounds. Yeah, it's a bit weird, mate. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Why don't I make a boxing promotion? What, like Big Ben promotions? <laughs> um, that's not my bag, man. You gotta remember, nothing or no one is bigger than the fighter. In terms of we risk, we're the one who risks our lives. Without the fighters, there's nothing. You know, so when you want to talk politics or talk, um, talk, what whoever it is, it's all about the fighter. You know, so anyone who wants to try and you know stop me from doing what I do, you're not bigger than me. Do you know? And people pay to watch me fight. You know, so. That's that's where that's where I'm at with this. It's like you can't stop me. Like that's it. You can't stop me. Period. Yeah, but Eddie is the best to do it. Like you gotta just be. You gotta be. Just gotta be real about it. He's the best to do it. Period. And the proof's in the pudding. Um, you know. Or go to America and conquer America, put on the biggest shows over there stateside. I'd like to see Oscar try and do that in the UK. I 
I don't speak French, but so it's... <laughs> yeah, Eddie's the best to do it. Matchroom are the best to do it, you know, and I think, um, and that's not just me saying that, but I plan on seeing my career through with Matchroom. Um, I think for me, it's, um, you know, I'm, I'm with them on, on a level, so for me, it's, yeah, I finished my, I see my fr career through with Tony, my whole team that I have currently. Um, you know, I see, see through my career with them. I think there's something blessing in starting from the start and then finishing at the top with the same people you started with. For me, I think that's, um, I think that's the journey of it all, you know. Um, relevant to people then coming in your ear and saying this and saying that halfway through. I think for me, it's um, loyalty is important. What's my thoughts on Taylor and Cameron? Um, what do you mean? Yeah, listen, I'd love to give you banks good spanking. Uh, my old man was with a few different promoters. Anyways, guys. I'm going to um, love and leave you and go get a family. I know they're waiting on me. Kelbrook. Kelbrook don't want no smoke. Even Roly Romero. I'll go to the States and fuck Roly Romero and give him a good beating as well. Listen, ultimately, at the end of the day, I'll fight anyone they put in front of me. Like, that's it, period. Like, anybody. You know, I'll go up to 160, I'll go up to 154, 147. If it makes money, it makes sense. And if it makes, um, you know, a big mega fight, then, you know, we can make it happen. <laughs> it's not the cold, man, it's hay fever. I've just done a nice eight kilometer run. Yeah, Tony seems to me start to finish. Um, you know, if you want to look at a trainer and look at what what Tony's done in my career and obviously it takes both of us but I think the connection we have you know between training and fire you know it's again it's unmatched and um, you know we're continuing to work man yes French the kid big fan bro and um, yeah appreciate it mate yeah listen and it's another guy I've called for listen all of them can get it that's the reality you know when I, when I say something I mean it um, you know, I don't mix my words and, you know, when I say something, I say it with chest. I don't want one of these guys to sit around and tweet or sit around and, you know, do all this modern day tweeting rubbish. You know, if I, if I say something, I mean it and I'll say it to your face when I see you, right? I, I don't play around like that. You know, and if I say I'm send a contract over, I'll send a contract over. I'll get sent over to you lively. Eubank can happen next. <laughs> Me and Eubank can happen next, and um, it can happen anywhere. You know, I think um, I think if it was to happen in, in Vegas, uh, a lot of Brits would travel over to Vegas to watch that fight. I think if it was, I think it was anywhere, anywhere in the world. I think uh, you know the whole the whole nation would travel to see me give them a good beating. And to be fair, I think I'd be doing the nation a favour. But any guys, anyway guys, I'm going to love and leave you lot. Remember, attack the weak, control what you can control, and don't let whatever happens to you this week get you down. Ultimately, it all depends on you. And, um, yeah, keep fighting. Keep fighting, keep fighting. I had lots of love, people.